Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, this is Games for Kicks and thank you for joining me in another episode of 7 Days to Die. Now, um, I've made a few changes. Look at this! I started here because this was complete coincidence. I was trying to explore a little bit ahead um, to see what biomes we have close by, to see uh, what is worth exploring. And I did uh, do, do a little revisit of um, Hope City to discover the rest here and here and uh, actually got a couple of gas can gas canisters while I was on the way from the gas station I think it was here and looted a car or two then I went down this direction here to check what's here and here and the burnt biome is here but the coal is kind of not there anymore so it's all in tunnels and then I went kind of that last time so the only thing left that I will explore with you guys but not today is up north on um, is it north? Let me see. I, actually, there's footsteps coming. Yes, um, there's a few changes I made to the game settings now. Because I feel a little bit more comfortable with um, the zombies. And I feel a little bit more uh, comfortable because I have lots of ammunition. And I actually was surprised how quickly I was able to kill all the dogs with the guns. I have raised the difficulty. I'm now playing on Survivalist with 20% night only though at 40 minutes uh, cycle and I have the zombie spawn set to high which should hopefully make for a couple of more interesting episodes. Now I might turn the zombie spawn down again if it really is interfering too much with the building of the episodes and um Oh, he, I am actually hunted, so he's not ex exploring noise. He actually is intentionally looking for me. Okay, so now let's hide. This is something I discovered by accident. I was literally just finishing here. I heard the plane. I completely don't even look for planes anymore. And I went down here and I turned around in the 360 to go back. And in the distance, I saw the smoke. So these guys are not actually invisible. They are not. It's the planes, unless they fixed that, and I haven't noticed that they fixed it, but I was like, oh my god, so I didn't look for the plane at all. I literally just came back up this bridge, walked across here, and all of a sudden I could see it here in the sky, and I was like, are you kidding me? This is the first plane drop I see. So I will open it and see what's in it. So we have a sniper receiver, sniper receiver, and an SMG schematic. Wow. Nice. That is pretty awesome. So, oh, I'm hungry and thirsty. So why don't I get this and this. And I won't bother you with me with showing you how I walk back. I will do that um, off camera and I see you guys back at my base. We have to show you something more amazing. And um, because I've done a lot of work off camera because there's just so much work to do before I even can start on the cathedral. I started building up some of the defenses. I'm not even halfway through and it is so much work. I mean, you can see it's day 55. I think the last episode we left at day 51 or 50. So it is a lot of work has gone into uh, in the meantime into this game. So I played like every evening for like half an hour or so and... Wow. So, I see you guys back at base. Okay, guys. Um, to show you this actually best, I'm going to have to turn on uh, debug mode for a second because I want to actually just fly into the air. Now, this is uh, just to show you the base so far. This is, Remember in the last episode, I showed you what I had in mind, okay? And that was to build the wall and then build like kind of a plateau. Now, of course, the ground was really high here. So, I started digging up, digging up. And not only that, but I made a slope so that you can actually walk up the slope and uh, you can walk up here you can walk up here now it's a lot of hard work and you can see here's kind of where I stopped at the moment in this corner but look at this okay the idea is basically to not use woodlock spikes on the outside I use reinforced concrete um, iron bars reinforced concrete then siding on the front of that and then I use uh, concrete blocks which is one of the custom parts of the recipes um, the, the recipe is linked, uh, the paste bin is linked in the description as always, so um, there's only three custom recipes in it, but any one I add, I will keep refreshing the paste bin, so just always go to there to get the latest version. Um, 
the way I thought about it was on the inside, I do the same, okay? On the inside, just turn the flight mode off, I do the same. I, um, this was just for aesthetics. I make everything sword, so I have all the sword here. You go down, you can defend here. I mean, as you can see, I'm not finished here with the wall yet. Um, I haven't filled the gaps in here yet. Um, do you have any um, wood spikes on me, wood locks on me? No, I don't. Okay, so um, yeah, I can't really upgrade them. Now, um, here you can uh, go up into here. Every pillar will have the ability to go up on a ladder. Then um, on the, t oh, look at this, my little fence. Okay, so that's just again for aesthetic. So I want it to look nice as well. Then uh, you can go up here seamlessly without having to jump. Now this is just the end of it, of course. Once you get up the ladder, you get to these guys, yeah? Now this here is just so when the cops are spitting, I can hide behind it. So I might actually make... Oh! That was me falling down one of the ladder holes, which I haven't covered yet. So, um... I know it's not fully defended yet, but we get there. Now, yeah, I'm not going to take this away from the time. Now, this episode might be actually a, a bit, a tad bit longer than uh, 22, 25 minutes, so about half an hour or so. And um, just because I'm showing you all this, but this is where I'm going. So up here, I can walk around. I can shoot the zombies from up here. I have to make sure uh, I can then walk across. And the reason I have wood frames here is so I can take them away and um, say use the crossbow because the crossbow doesn't go through these guys it doesn't okay it goes through barbed wire but that's it now that brings me to the next point down here i will put woodlock spikes not woodlock spikes sorry the tiny spikes the skinny spikes around here and i will put barbed wire in front of them and after the spikes so that way they, they stand long enough in the spikes hopefully and that should slow them down i will also put perimeters in with landmines and um uh, fences, uh, barbed wire uh, randomly into areas and that should hopefully start slowing them down as well when they come. So I'm gonna try to build it more like don't hide in your house, you know, kind of thing. Now the reason I have the tough defenses with the water and the log spikes here is simply so the zombies don't destroy my houses when I'm out fighting here because as I said if I wouldn't be doing a let's play I I wouldn't probably even do that. I would just, you know, but I want to show building as well and I don't want to spend always half the time repairing all the crap like, you know, because this is this video, the videos I'm making should always kind of progress in a way, not just constantly regress and progress a little. So I hope you like the design. I hope you like where I'm going with this. Um, so the way this works goes all the way around like this. And on the outside, then I have the metal trussing. So I can basically uh, go outside on the metal trussing and um, stand on top shooting the shooting the zombies because the guns go through this and then as i said the wood frames i can pick up so i can shoot with the crossbow here the cops when they come they can spit on this so i have to be careful this is what these guys are there for to hide behind as i said already but just to clarify this again i might need to put another one on top just to be on the very safe side now the what i want to do in this episode i wanted to show you this and i want to start on the cathedral now the planning for the cathedral i have been thinking about this and um one of the guys in the comments said, can you move it that the sun will hit it, yeah? And I said, I probably could, but the problem is I already made my perimeter for my wall. I kind of have a perimeter in mind that I don't want to go really um, beyond because I don't want zombies spawn possibly in here. Now, I want a little bit of room here because I want to build a small alchemist here for my um, making gas and all that. That's what this is for. And um, I'm going to dig out this area here now to uh, build build a base for my cathedral which will also have a basement which i don't think will go into the caves but i'm not a hundred percent certain um but we'll see okay so um i get myself sorted out and then um well let me turn the dm mode off again so yeah so that we don't fly now and um that's that. So let me just see here. Now I also built loads of chests. Now um, most of them are empty yet, but I, I found myself constantly like when I was digging up the dirt. Yeah, I ended up needing more and more chests for all the dirt I dug up, like around for the wall and all the grass. And um, I made all the sod from the from the grass. So every t so I take every now and then one of those um, and take one of those and um, then make the sod. There you go, which creates two stacks of sod. And every now and then I do that just to have the materials in um, stock. Now, 
let me just take the weapon parts for the sniper rifle. Where's the other weapon parts? Here. So I actually now, do I have all the parts for the sniper rifle now? That would be awesome. I mean, I have a shitty sniper barrel, but um, it's better than nothing. So let me see. Um, one, that's 469. That's 489, and this is 489 as well. So they're about the same quality. Then we have 394 and 394. And that doesn't matter. So we have four parts. Now let's see if we actually... I don't think I have the sniper. Um, yeah, I don't. Which is a pity. So I can't actually build the sniper rifle. So I still have to find um, the actual schematic. But I have an, S an SMG now. Which I can now repair. But the SMG, I don't even know how good that weapon is to be honest let's repair it um okay i need to make more weapon repair kits i actually don't have enough so let's not waste the weapon repair kits because i need them for my pistol now i have how many bullets do i have 296 which is good because now i have a little bit more brass which means we can make a few more uh, bullet casing which is brilliant let me just get some wood so what I do is here, I have here an a, a iron chest where everything to do with metal and iron is in. Then I have a, a wood chest where I put all the stuff in that I, you know, for my wood and all that, my wood poles, my wood lock spikes that I had left over, my wood spikes and so on the ladder. Then in here, I have everything to do with stone and concrete, bricks and concrete and, you know, this type of thing. So I kind of try to be a little bit organized. And uh, over here, I have nothing at that point. I've, yeah, here I have some random things, actually. Like, so, yeah, you know, um, yeah, this I actually don't need to keep like that. Uh, actually, just move these in here. I know that that's a, this kind of chest is kind of a, a temporary dumping ground because um, I suppose to... Um, Put all that underground so this chest will move underground actually maple seeds i'm going to take now because i want to plant some trees now the lead will go here because this is where i put everything to do with lead uh, to make gunpowder this is where i put all the clay i find half of these surroundings here are clay so um yeah excuse the long introduction but we are going to get to building uh, the cathedral soon and i will spend extra time on that so don't worry about that and that's it now let me get my bearings what do i need um i need to get rid of that I keep the water. I'm gonna have to make um, more arrows, uh, crossbows, sorry. Excellent. I have to find more feathers. So I definitely, there will be an exploring episode coming up probably in the next episode where we will go north here and see what's up here and um, maybe connect some biomes, you know, so see what happens. Now, I haven't found a desert biome yet. As far as I know, this is not a desert biome. This is, um, I don't know what it is, but there's no sand here. I need to find a biome with sand because that's the only thing I'm really missing. And a snow biome. I haven't found a snow biome yet. So um, I have found a little village here when I was uh, going down through all the biomes uh, to explore kind of the connecting biomes. I found a village here and a woodlock house here. So this is where we could go for potential loot runs. Now, of course, this area here, I still have to loot as well. And I still want to connect this somehow um, with the roads, but we'll see. Okay, so that is all that has happened while you guys were watching. Now, if you skip the head, that's fine. We're going to get to the building now in a minute. And um, I might do some uh, work uh, quickly off camera that, that doesn't bore you to tears. Um, so let's just plant some trees. Let's take the oil and put it in here. Uh, it's for weapon kits, so let's put it in here with the um with that and the pickaxe and i don't really need a bandage i think but um well we keep it anyway that's fine okay so i'm gonna take some of those cobblestone frames with me i take some cobblestones with me i will take some mix with me because i want to finish the wall in the back as well and i will take Will I need some concrete brick or did I already put concrete brick on there? I already did put concrete brick on there, but I can put more concrete brick on there. Excellent, yeah. And um, we will take some a little bit of metal trussing. So what I can do is I can work throughout the, the night as well, so I'm not really concerned about that. And if zombies come, I have plenty of ammunition 
and uh, we deal with that then. So let me pick up some wood as well. Yeah, we need some wood planks and that. And I have to actually go and chop some wood as well. And let me just get some um, coal for this. Oh, that's very little. Let's let's just use that for that. That's that's not even worth coal, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's put some coal in here as well. It doesn't really matter. Yep, bullet casings coming along nicely. Excellent. Now I can hear some footsteps already. So let's go out and greet whoever is there. Hey. How are you doing? Are you bringing me more loot? Nice. Okay, nothing. Oh, beautiful. Some feathers here. I need so many feathers because I don't want to waste all of my bullets all the time. I kind of like actually shooting with a crossbow. Especially when you infiltrate an area and you want to kind of keep it quiet. You want to take out only the first kind of spawn. Okay, so let's continue on the wall here. I don't know. I have to dig still everything out and it's it's going to be a huge trench. So, yeah. All right. Um, the way this church is going to work. Now, as you can see here already, I have um, to take concrete with me. Ah, I took concrete bricks with me, but not. Okay, let's just make some more concrete. So the way this is going to work, there's going to be two levels, uh, three levels down, something like that. Is it one, two? How did I make it? How did I do that here? We had here, we had one level down, two levels down. Okay, and then if the, let me just think quickly. If this is a woodlock spike, they stand here and they hit that, but then they can come out here. So I'm going to have to make this one deeper, actually. I want to make this a little bit deeper. Yeah, so I'm not doing it for everything now. I'm only quickly going to do the legs that I already built. So I have that under control. Okay. There we go, and this one, and that will serve then as, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And again, this is to protect the church. So I will, the reason I make it deeper is because I really don't want these sons of bitches to come out because I think what happened over here was um, on the other building, a dog came, died on top of the spikes, and then the zombies were standing on top of the dog before it disappeared. And that caused actually some problems. Okay, so we're going to make this deeper as well. Now, what my job is now is I will have to dig out the base to make uh, whatever you want to call it, the surroundings or the, the frame, the outer marking for the building. The fra Yeah, the frame. There we go. Getting tired already. Can't wait to have better gear. Um, okay, so this is going to be approximately a distance of... I would like to bring it one more over, actually, to have a really good gap. Because here the gap will be one, two, three, which is nice. Yeah, okay, maybe maybe we just leave a, a three gap um, on the sides and then uh, like it will be just one gap here, which is fine, I suppose. So from here we have then, uh, oh yeah, these guys here, I forgot about them. So one, two, three. So that's actually how far I have to go down. Yeah, that's interesting, I didn't think about that. So we actually want... One more here. <sighs> and then we want one, two spikes, and then the wall. Yeah, okay. 
so we leave two. So I'm just trying to think out loud. So one, two, and then here. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. That's how we're going to build it. And then this is actually safe. Um, yeah, and then we just have one strip here, which is fine. like Because I've already um, dug all this so you can walk seamlessly over everything without getting stuck. So it should be fine. Okay, so that's brilliant. So we're going to dig all this out, and um, which means we're going to have to probably move that wall over there as well. Because we want to have that one, two space, and we want to be here. So this is where we want to be. Which means I have to destroy this. Now, the one thing I want to just double check quickly is I have found um, when I was doing the the hope city i wasn't doing a hope city loot run i just wanted to quickly run through it to see if there's any more of the stores so i can plan any future heists or whatever you call it and then i realized i there was a pump and gas when i came to the to here again and i was like oh i never looted that so i went through and i got some gas actually um here six pairs of gas and i found an auger plate now the auger plate i'm gonna take with me because i want to check something i'm not a hundred percent sure if I have the other parts of the auger or not. I remember picking up some auger parts, but um, that were in my chest, and I showed it in the last episode or the episode before that, and I wasn't really sure. So let's plant some trees on the way out. You see here, you can go straight up here, and I have designed it clever enough that if I run out here, that the gap, the holes where the wood frames come out is not right in front of me, so there's actually a lot of thought gone in, and I should be able to just jump across without breaking my legs. So let's quickly go down here, um, yeah, in future episodes, I will also build out the inside here of the caves so that it will look less stony and tunnelly, and more homey and friendly. And come on, there we go. Now, let me see. Oh, we already had an auger plate. We're missing the other part of the auger. Oh, that's a pity. That's a pity. I really thought we would have an auger now ready. That would be really smashing. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly make an arrow out so I can get rid of that bone. No, I... Why does it never listen to me? Oh, what am I doing? Why did I make an arrow? Oh, I'm such a... Eh. Crossbow bolt. That's what I wanted. Ah, well. It's okay. You learn it the hard way. And um, fertile dirt, maple seed, yes. So I'm gonna see if I need to take more. No, I leave the iron ingots here. I leave the cement here. Will we need. Ah, I take that with me just in case. And I take a couple of more gravel with me. And that's it. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig what I said I'm going to dig. And um, I'm going to do this now off camera. But if something happens during the night, I'm sure to turn on and tune in and show you guys. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in a minute. And speak of the devil. Let me just try to catch my time. <laughs> speak of the devil. I think we have visitors. I could just hear the footsteps as I was trying to get into my base and putting up some lights. So let's sort these guys out. There they are. Hello. Oh, I hear somebody going over metal. Hey, guys. Let's just reload that gun. So they are coming from there. Oh, he's just ignoring me. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't set them to feral. Oh, I really want that. So let's throw out the splints there for a second. And blueberry seeds. I don't think there's much... Well, let's throw out the little bandage there. Is there any, anybody else? Hello? Okay, that was it. Nothing more to report. Okay, I can hear hornets. So, which means we might get um, a bigger horde. And I barely had time to do anything.
Now I play this on survivalist, which means these guys are gonna hit much harder now. And um, well, they still go down with two hits, like on the noggin, which is not bad. So we're gonna do that and see if there is actually a horde. Now they weren't coming for me. Um, they didn't have me detected or anything, but usually when there's hornets, it means it's an extraordinary horde, and not just a passerby. But hey, whatever. It seems to be just that. Nothing serious. That horde is just going to be annoying as hell, and that's pretty much it. All right. Okay, so um, it was really nothing more eventful, so I don't think there was any feral horde. Now, the big hordes are supposed to come today, I think. It's uh, 59th day, let me think. Uh, 56, yeah, maybe, maybe. We could, we, we could end up with a, uh, with a horde coming today. Um, luckily, I have enough bullets. Uh, I have 88 more bullet casings. I have a few more of those and I have a few more of these guys and let's make some more 9mm bullets. There we go. 371. That should be enough. If I can headshot every single zombie between the crossbow balls and the, and the bullets, I should have enough um, coverage. But I would feel better if I would have... I got that from the Hope City as well. A few more of those. I should probably make some landmines um, when they come. I just don't remember how you do them, actually. Um, how do you do them? Let me just... Um... Yeah. Um, that goes away. So let's see. Hope Cup. Hope Cup. Hope Cup landmine. So, okay. So it's just black powder and uh, scrap iron. And then we have the tin. The tin landmine. Again, same. And then we have the air filter. Okay, excellent. So let's just take uh, this and let's take a few of those. Hmm, that wasn't too bad. And then we have the tin can. Okay, cool. And then we have the hoop cup. Oh, it takes two. Okay. Well, that's it. At least they're made. So, might put them to good use. We'll see. So, in this case, we'll leave some of the scrap iron here as well, seeing that that's how we make mines. Okay. Fair enough. So, let's take some more concrete mix with us. Um, wrong draw. And we take some cobblestone stairs as well. All right, so I've been quite busy doing all that. Um, trees. I actually want to plant some trees probably in the back here. Um, or actually, can we, can we plant trees here? I'm just thinking if we grow trees here, can trees actually grow on? So actually, let's test that. Let's just plant a single tree here just to see if it would grow on sod. And what we're going to do then is, in the meantime, we're going to go to the outskirt perimeter and just randomly plant them now here. Come on. There we go. We have two more left, which we're going to put here and here. Excellent. So, planted all the other trees here. Now, what have I done so far? Oh, a lot of work. Um, I don't have... Oh, I have coffee. Excellent. Yeah, so I can actually continue. Now, um, what I've done is I've dug out some of the wall. And as you can see here, I dug out the whole area in the middle. Mm. 
this one here. And so uh, it was a lot of stacks of dirt and uh, clay, as you could see. I had like another 50 odd uh, clay just for that. And this is the outside wall. So um, because of the defenses, the actual um, circumference of the cathedral will be a little bit smaller, uh, narrower. It will be narrower than I expected. Also, um, I'm not sure how f how much further out to the back I will make it because obviously this is just the cathedral part, yeah? And then here, you're gonna have some kind of humongous um, presentation, presentation area as you have in the churches, which means I'm intentionally not building any blocks here. This is just, uh, whoops, this is just because this is where the wall will go. of uh, the church or cathedral or whatever you want to call it. It's not going to be humongous, so it's not really a cathedral. Ca cathedral! Ah, we're getting all Spanish now, is it? Like, cathedral! Yeah, hey, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Um, okay, so what we have here then is the outside, outside wall, which is going to be lying between all that. So we have two spaces here. Then we have one, two, three, boom, boom. One, two, three, boom, boom. One, two, three, oh, one, two, three, boom, boom. There we go. And then the wall here. So. I don't know exactly how this is going to play out, but um, we have the outside wall here, which is basically what this is. There we go. So this is going to be the the wall, and it goes right here, as you can see, which is correct. It goes right here below the door, and it will connect right to this corner. Is that the is that the right? Is that the corner? That is the corner, and then we have two out and two out yes so this is the corner indeed and um yeah so i'm gonna finish this um i dig out the whole area here because i will have an underground um underneath the cathedral i will have an area where i can dig down and it will be literally so i can repair all these concrete blocks from the inside if needed so i need to have the basement free and of course i'm gonna have support pillars going up that um the basement is not going to be obviously going to collapse under the weight of the cathedral above. So that's the plan. So I hope you like where I'm going with this. I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though uh, a lot of this episode was me showing you in the beginning for the first 10 minutes uh, what we have been up to in the last few, um, in the last couple of, well, more than a couple, in the last uh, several game days um, that I haven't recorded simply to get some things prepared and done. Uh, loads of raw materials burned, things like that in the forge and prepared. Now, um, let me know what you think in the comments, okay? I know you want me to build the cathedral kind of around in the sun, but I think the sun will hit the cathedral either way. Even if it comes up here, goes around and, and goes down over there, it should still kind of hit uh, the glass walls uh, or the, gla the sides with the glass. Um, that I will design. Now, class sadly is not multicolored like in Creativeverse, which would be really awesome, but um, that's just nothing we can change at this time. Now, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, we will do an exploring episode in the next episode. I will do some of the work here off camera to, to simply get uh, continue, and then we will um, start exploring, and I don't really mind if it's day or night. Um, where I will go is I will head north off here which basically means we're gonna check out what biome is approximately here so i will go here and then i will go north and hopefully we can find a desert biome or a snow biome because that would be really cool a snow biome would be awesome because they have some nice woodsheds in there um, also, you can see I have to do a lot of terraforming here because what happens basically over here is we have to create a slope that we can walk up and down from our defense uh, wall too and uh, because you can see here boom boom and then one down and then 
one more down yeah so this will be where you walk up to the level that you need and this will be the lowest level basically um and that's it because here you can see you can just walk up seamlessly it's not the end of the world there you go Okay, excellent stuff, and it's going to look all smooth. In the end, we're going to do it with uh, sod. I just need to get a fair idea how I'm going to do it and uh, before I put the sod down, because uh, sod is a waste. Earth, you dig it back up, it still is earth. Excellent, so if you enjoyed this episode, as always, kick the like button in the arse like the gaming ninjas you are, and I really hope you enjoyed and had fun, and as always, feel spaß and happy gaming, and I hope I see you guys in the next video.